All right. Oh. Sneaky Dragon in player one side with the twins versus Arya playing Vesper. And oh boy, are both of these commanders that uh, are able to confirm wins off of their groove. So Yeah, that's a very funny matchup. Uh, you can have some, like, almost ridiculous situations sometimes. Uh, I don't think we're going to see that on this map. But basically, Vesper ha has the same plays that the Twins have. Uh, I mean, some of the same plays. For example, uh, the tw like Vesper is kind of a more powerful version of the Twins with a slower groove, I'd say. For example, uh, she's got some commander pressure. If she can get uh, four units surrounding your commander and then use groove on the on these units, your commander is stuck and will most likely die the next turn. Uh, she's also got, got some plays on the HQ, like she can set up like some a path towards the HQ and then place her, the smoke which results in uh, guaranteed lethal. Um... And uh, with this opening that Arya did, um, feeding the twins groove, I mean, we saw how this went earlier. So I feel yep. like Sneaky has this one in the bag. I don't think Vesper can build up groove in time to really challenge yeah. this. I don't think Vesper, like, I don't think Vesper groove is going to come into play before the game comes to its resolution. Uh, that said, Arya has the units needed to- Oh my god, is this just gonna be- Is this- is this ooh. the end? Oh, cause all you have to do is throw down a fire tile, yep. And that's actually the perfect tile for it too. Oh, it even kills the spear nearby- Oh wow, this is over. Yeah, Sneaky's just like, nah, I'm, I'm gonna just finish this game right here, right <laughs> now. And, uh... Yep. I mean, Arya's yeah. gonna do what they can. There's actually a pretty good placement from the balloon. The spear's in a good position, too. Mm, this might not actually be over, because the, the knight alone won't be able to finish the HQ. Uh, although, that said, that fire's gonna spread. Is gonna make it even difficult, even more difficult to block that line. So, yeah, the knight just has to hit from above, do a bit of damage. Ooh, that other knight just clears that up. And oh, wow, we're seeing this is just like the Zerg rush, right? We're watching like a StarCraft 2 game and just like Zerglings running across the map. <laughs> oh, even gets a hit on the twins. Just wants to do as much damage to this army as possible. Uh, I would have liked to have seen... Oh, no, that makes sense, actually. I'm just going to clear that night up. I think, mm, though, yeah. that the twins and that sword are just healthy enough to uh, clear this up. Mm. And, yeah, Sneaky just goes for a super all in think, play. Yeah, the, the oh. mage can hit too, so... Yeah, just suicides the sword instead of healing it, and yeah. Well played. Sneaky just goes for a super all in and takes the game in a very clean fashion. Or I guess not so much clean, but just very convincing. Like, yeah, <laughs> I can just win this right now. Very decisive, I guess. So, I have some notes that Sneaky sent me. And I think you want me to read them before the set, but I don't like doing that. So I'm going to read them now. <laughs> Uh, let me scroll down and find this. Okay. Game one, pay attention to eco and positioning. Yeah. <laughs> we did that. Uh oh, he said just slow game two down if you can. But I, I got the impression, like I understood what was going on. I very much appreciated the positioning at all points. It was very very good. What a game two.